All right, we're at RE Plus, and of course, we got some famous people with us, Adam. And Eric is missing in action as he's been the last 24 hours. But, you know, this place has been huge. We I walked like 13 miles yesterday, tried to look at all the different uh, vendors. And today I'm going to go in there and film a couple of things, especially with EG4 to show you the new things they got and show you some of their new equipment. All right, here at RE Plus, you know, got a whole lot of the other uh, affiliates and YouTubers here. Got Unplugged Techs and got Adam Lay, got Eric, got Ray Loveless around here somewhere. You know, I got a picture of him earlier, but as you see the new EG4 uh, booth, you know, got a little different uh, vibe with the uh, EG4 logo. I'm definitely liking that new look, and we're gonna go ahead and jump into some of this uh, new equipment. It's an EG4 booth again, and we got the new uh, Nova system here. It's gonna be the high voltage system from EG4 and it's gonna be a 100 volt system. As you can see, basically it has the inverter where it looks like it's on its side, like similar to a Flex Boss, just on its side. And the battery's got a little bit of, of a wider footprint. And the initial specs that we got right now is this thing, of course, it's gonna be a split phase inverter, 16 kilowatts of output, uh, 80 amp max generator input, 100 amp uh, max uh, bypass, but you can hook the grid boss to this thing. So you'll be able to use the grid boss to 200 amp bypass. So gonna be, pretty cool with that and then of course the battery is going to be a 100 volt battery system and the battery is going to be about 15.5 uh, kilowatts and you can have like six of those batteries uh hooked up to one inverter and then this thing's going to have three mppts and it's going to have a max current of 26 amps on the first two and 15 amps on the third one and it's going to be between 100 and 550 volts dc and the unit starter voltage is going to be 100 volts and the maximum utilized solar power is going to be 21 kilowatts and recommended you put 25 on it and look what we got right here what i've been talking about for the last couple of years got a couple of mini splits got a multi-head unit with this uh eg4 uh two ton unit uh, 24k uh, btu and we even have this window unit coming out we don't have all the specs on it we know it's gonna be a cooling unit 110 volts and it's supposed to be very efficient. So here at the EG4 booth, and they got some new batteries, of course, for their Flex Boss inverters. Basically got a, some 16 kilowatt hour uh, batteries now. Now this is gonna be the indoor range battery. It's just got the lights on it. You know, gonna tell you your battery status. And it's got a, what it seems to be to be a smaller form factor, even though it's a 16 kilowatt of output. It's a little more than there, I think 14.2 that they got now. So basically they got the, the outdoor version and the indoor. This right here is the indoor version. And this right here is the outdoor version. We got Braden from EG4 here. He's gonna talk about the Charge Verter Plus. Yeah, so uh, we came out with the Charge Verter Plus. One of the biggest things with the Charge Verter GC that we have in the market is that we need a UL listing whenever folks wanna write it into plan sets, as well as uh, as far as whenever you try to install it, we wanted to create a bit more robust of a shell casing so that it could be placed, you know, like under awnings or, you know, closer to where the generator is actually going to be located. Uh, so we are getting, I believe it's UL 1012 on the Chargeverter Plus as well as IP54 certification. So it'll be usable in a lot more installations as well as being able to be written into plan sets and approved by utilities for AHJs that are a bit more strict on those kinds of things. There's also a couple of more uh, subtle quality of life features that we're implementing on the Charge Fitter Plus. Uh, you know, of course, generator warm up and cool down to make sure that the generator's health uh, when used by the Charge Fitter Plus is preserved. We also have a couple of additional things such as generator uh, a global timer. So if say you wanna make sure you only use a set amount of fuel with your generator, uh, you can set it to a 20 minute, 30 minute, an hour of uh, charge verter use before it will automatically shut down no matter what your battery's charge is uh, and level. There's a couple of other small firmware features that we've added on the charge verter plus. I believe the screen also shows more information about runtime, total kilowatt hour throughput, um, you know, just a bunch of additional small things that uh, we've had requests for. So basically just the same output power is more efficient than the older models and some of them firmware updates. Yeah, yeah, so we just went through and tried to implement all of the, the small things that we've had a lot of customers say uh, they would like to see on the Charge, charge Verter GC and wrapped it up into a Charge Verter Plus package. Y'all ready? Are we doing this? Are we doing now? No, no, I'm just recording something from my channel. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a delay on this thing, it's weird. Yeah, All right, no. 
look who I found here at RE Plus. Of course, I got Adam and Eric. Of course, I'll link their channels up below if you don't already know them. I'm sure you do from the live stream. But we're going to be reviewing some products, so go check out everybody's channel. And go check out Unplugged as well. I'll leave that link below.